Hello everyone, this is Blue Thunder Fan Racing, and this is the INORL Budweiser Retro Series. Today, with only three rounds to go in the season, we are at Rockingham, North Carolina, 40 GM Goodwrench 400. Drivers are going to have to make their moves, of moves now. Time is running out, only three rounds are left. Starting on the pole is, is the car sponsored by GM Goodwrench, Barney Ward. Will, could this be the day that his first win happens? It's been, it's been quite, it's, it's, he's waited all season to get his first win, and time is running out. On his outside is Aaron Williams, who's, who is tr trying to get in the championship contention, but at this point, I feel like he won't make it. Row two has Josh Cullen and Brandon Bain. Row number three is Eric Austin and Rob Thomas, who is in desperate need of a good run, finishing ahead of his of the points leader, who is starting in the row right behind him. Tony Blazer starts on the inside of row four, and next to him is Dylan Young of a good, another good qualifying effort at 97. Then right out the top ten is Richard Johnson, who has won two races on short tracks this season, and then Jack Nathan. Zachary Robinson starting a little ways back here. Zachary Robinson starting pretty far back. Gonna gonna read this right now. Robinson starting in 21st, so he's got some work to do. So gonna see, well, I've got to see what he can see if he can see what he can work make out of that. He is the closest championship contender to Barney Ward. Last week's winner, Rhett Yates, is rolling off in the 17th position. Getting ready for 59 laps of racing. Only three rounds to go in the season. Pace car diving for pit road. Who is going to be making their moves in the championship next? What can implications may occur? We're about to find out as we are green at Rockingham. And Tony, and Tony Blazer's gotten underneath Rob Thomas. So, things are already starting to look down for Rob Thomas. Because he's trying to finish ahead of Tony Blazer. But the but Thomas has now fallen behind the 7 machine right at the end of the first lap. That's why you don't need that's why you never that's why it's never a good thing to be starting on the outside. Rob Thomas is already out of the top 10. Uh that that tells you that he struggled all season long. Oh man, Pichu London almost got into James Qualls there. The Indianapolis winner in the two. Sam McDonald's going to have the Hardy scheme for the rest of the season. There's a surprise pole sitter for uh, for a last week for a last week's event. Well, I I believe it was the last race. So, I can't really remember right now, but I believe Tyler Manson got on the pole for last week's race. But, yeah, Tyler Manson was on pole last week at Charlotte, but ended up dropping back. And Rob Thomas, he has dropped like a rock. He, he's already down the midfield. There's a wreck. Vivian Reynolds is, to the in, is, is off to the inside. Ashton Brab is the other driver involved, so we're going to have a caution here. Wait, no, no, we're not going to have a caution. But Zach Campbell's there, and so is Thomas Mickock. Something happened to him. Where's the caution? Amazingly enough, there's no caution. You've got to be kidding me. How stupid are these officials? Obviously very stupid. But seeing how, f how far he's dropped, I'd say Rob Thomas 
I'd say he's got no. I seeing that he's lost. Seeing how fast he is, or more like how not fast he is, it's safe to say his championship hopes are all but done. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to have any. He doesn't seem to have any. He seemed to have used up all of his speed from the, for the first half of the season, and now he's just. He's just huddling along in, 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 in the lower half of the field. He's just now huddling along like mi around mid-pack. As there's Toby Sanford breaking down, and that's going to be more positions lost for Rob Thomas. Something's wrong on Toby Sanford's machine. More positions lost for Rob Thomas. If he gets stuck on the outside... Oh, four wide! This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Unbelievable. They made it work. They made it work. Four wide. I feel like Rob Thomas could potentially be dropping the 33rd, make that 34th, and keep in mind he started sixth. Yeah, his championship hopes—they're—they're they're done. That car doesn't—that—that that team doesn't appear to have anything left. They seem to have used up all their stuff in the f first half of the season. And also, Tony Blazer might might need to be a little nervous because Zachary Robinson is moving up. He's up to the fifteenth He's up to the fifteenth position now. Robinson is looking to be to pull off a huge upset and and make it a championship for a very unknown for a very unknown name and a in, in some good a very unknown name and some good equipment. Robinson's proven though that he has talent and he's going to show and he's and he's looking to show what he's got. And he's looking to give it everything he's got. Two wins this season. Yeah, two two wins this season. He's gained a lot. He's had. He's gained a lot of points on Tony Blazer. Could Robinson be the man to challenge Tony Blazer for this championship? However, Tony Blazer is the leading championship contender once again right now, running in the 8th spot. Aaron Williams has now taken over the lead. Barney Ward drops the second, but I know he's not going to want to finish there again. Oh, Vivian Reynolds is going to be putting, getting put a lap down soon. Where's Rob Thomas? And he has settled in the 25th position. I'd say it's... That team has that Ford, that Morgan McClure team has used everything up in the first half of the season. It seems. Again, I feel that his champion. If he keeps this up, I feel that his championship hopes will be all but done. Very unfortunate that that that's Rob Thomas, and that f entire Ford team has just struggled <laughs> this late in the season. They were in championship contention. They they led the points at one point in the season. At one time in the season, but they've they've just really they've just really fell off. There's Rhett Yates, last week's winner. Not not really following up that win when the way he wanted to. Having having a although he's not doing that bad. He's ha he's having a he's having a he's having an anonymous day so far, running in twenty second, although he is currently moving backwards. Rhett, Rhett Yates having a having a rather anonymous day in twenty third now. And Robinson continues to move up, up to 12th place now. Robinson up to the 12th position. Could he catch Tony Blazer, who's now dropped to 9th? Kyle Sosnowski has moved past. Barney Ward back to the top spot. There's a lap card, though. Vivian Reynolds. Josh Collins taking third, I mean second. And Eric Austin slaps the wall. Brandon Bain moves into the third spot. He Brandon Bain won the Firecracker 400. There's Toby Sanford. He's a lap down. Don't know why he's fighting up the leaders. Well, actually, excuse me. He's two laps down. Zach Campbell, though, he is six laps down. What happened to Campbell? Let's take. Let's check in with him. Boy, he is six laps down. Something. Something must have happened to him. Josh Cohen, better look out. 
And Toby Sanford, what is he doing? The lap, Sanford, who's a lap, who's two laps down, is now going underneath the Aussie, who's in second. Sanford is now going to go under Barney, is in Barney Ward now. Oh. Who is going to, who's going to be on top? Sanford now will try and get past Vivian Reynolds. That was for position. Sanford is now one lap down in the 39th position. As Vivian Reynolds goes two laps down. Checking in the back here again. Gonna check in on the progress of Rob Thomas. He has made absolutely none. He's in 25th, so he has settled and perhaps and, and perhaps given up on his championship hopes. Rhett Yates still being still being very quiet in 21st. Samuel, Samuel McDonald, Daytona 500 champion. Daytona 500 champ having a pretty solid day so far, running in the top 20. He struggled all season. And now here's two here's two rookies battling for 17th. Dylan Young has it. Alessandro Vietti, the young Italian, wants it. Vietti wants it here. And here he goes. The young Italian in, the, in car number 26 is moving into the 17th spot. And look at this. Tony Blazer dropped to a 10th. Dropped the 10th. And, and, and Zachary Robinson. Oh, boy. Look who's behind Tony Blazer. Zachary Robinson in the 5. Potential championship implications here. Robinson could be gaining points. Here he goes. Robinson underneath the points leader. These two are fighting for the championship. Pit stops could be coming soon, though. Bro Zachary Robinson goes underneath Tony Blazer. And at this time, he is now gaining points on the 7 team. Into the top 10 for Zachary Robinson. He started 21st, but he is he is looking very, very strong. Oh, Jack, they ain't gotten the Tyler Manson. Those two almost wrecked. Fighting for third here. Brandon Bain and Aaron Williams. Williams goes into third. Fourth is, Br is Brandon Bain and battle on for fifth. Richard Johnson and Eric Austin. Johnson unsurprisingly having a good run on a sh is unsurprisingly having a good run on a short track. Richard Johnson has has done a fantastic job on the short tracks. Oh, someone hit the wall hard. Couldn't couldn't see who. Think it was either Jack Nathan or Tyler Manson. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Manson. Robinson and Blazer still running with each other. Blazer appears to be looking. I can't. I can't really see. Robinson is gonna want to get some get a bit of a gap going between him and the seven. Robinson's fastest lap is slower than the sevens. However, his general pace has been quicker. You can see Blazer is looking, trying to get past the five, the five Levy Garrett car. And he, oh man, he is really looking. And here he comes, trying to get down low. And here he comes, Blazer looking down low on Zachary Robinson, 40 10th position. These two championship contenders fighting very hard. They know that the championship is on the line. As drivers are coming down pit road, Zachary Robinson chooses to come in. So here we go, green flag pit stops. And they may have to pit again with less than 10 laps to go. <laughs> just kind of just kind of doing the math, just kind of did the math. If they pit if they pit again in 28 laps, they start pitting again in 28 laps, just thinking about this, it will be a uh, lap 56. So we're gonna need to think about that. Could could end up being a few mile race. So we gotta think about that. Tyler Manson led a lap. He has not come down pit road yet. Manson got the pull at Charlotte, but didn't stay there. He finished midfield. He has struggled miserably all season. 
and I'd say his shining spot in really any of my series was last week when he won in the truck series at California. It was quite a surprising result. I know Manson certainly needed that to boost his confidence. He's been having a... He's have, and I think it's been working as a confidence booster because he's been having a good day so far. Now, where's Tony Blazer? Blazer is off pit road. Looking for Zachary Robinson. Can't find Zachary Robinson here, though. And there's good too, so try and get around T.O. Bain. Nothing doing. Wait, uh, no, nothing. Manson coming off a of pit road. Oh my. <laughs> oh boy. This could be potential championship implications. I believe Aaron Williams has taken over the lead. If he wins again, I believe that'll be his fourth, maybe fifth win of the season. He has taken over the lead. If he wins, that'll be big, big for Aaron Williams. And yes, Zachary Robinson has had a fantastic pit stop. He's moved up to sixth place. The Hendrick team nailed the pit stop. Four to five. Zachary Robinson. <laughs> Give, give that pit crew some credit. Zachary Robinson is looking like he's going he's gonna to be getting a lot of points, but where's Tony Blazer? After pit stops, Blazer's down in 18th! Championship implications! He's now up to 17th, though, but Tony Blazer, like, like Tony Blazer's team, the Allen Kowicki team, they blew the pit stop, while Robinson's Hendrick crew did a great job on the pit stop, as, as Toby Sanford is slow. He's he's a, he's a he's a multiple laps down. No, no, no. He's ranked well. He must be staying at. He must be staying out right now. He must be off cycle because because he is way slower. And I remember him being one two laps down. Because the drivers are passing him left and right. Boy, he is slow. Rob Thomas is still in 25th, so so I think he's I think he may have lost at speed. Oh my! Wow, he was two seconds off of Dylan Young's pace. He is very slow right now. There's Seth Cole. Seth Cole's going to be looking underneath the 75. There he goes. That car is extremely slow. I can't stress it enough. Blazer's starting to make some... Starting to get the work, though. Tony... Zachary Robinson's done a... Has, Zachary Robinson's pit crew has done a great job, but Tony Blazer is getting the work. He's up to 13th. Where's Robinson? He's running all by himself, still in 6th. That's a great position, but he might need to look out. Aaron Williams is starting to pull out to a lead. Samuel McDonald's team didn't do too good on the pit stop. He's in 34th, about to go a lap down. Only driver out of the race is Ashton Brab. His season's kind of falling apart. Brandon Baines now in second, but Bernie Ward is looking. Brandon Bain has the fastest lap, so so the, so the now four-time IndyCar Series winner and five-time INORL winner is looking very strong. Well, actually, I think he may actually be a seven-time INORL winner. I believe he won two races in the Duracell Cup Series Season 1 in the Season 1 Duracell Cup Series over on Kyle Sosnowski's channel. I, I, I may be mistaken, though. I think he may have won one. I think he has six I know oh, victories and Bernie Ward has got turned he's in the wall! Ward is flipping! Oh and hey, Robinson Robinson's involved! Robinson is involved! Just a sudden wreck! Bernie Ward's bad luck is going to get him again! 
Barney Ward will not catch a break. There's, like, I can see Barney, it doesn't seem there's any hope left for Barney Ward to catch a break. It's just been endless bad luck all season. Robinson got a little piece of that, but he is in the fifth position. Car looks pretty clean. Also, drivers will be able to come in. Also, drivers will be able to come in. We're going to watch Aaron Williams before, before we take a look at that caution. Take a look at what happened, because we're going to probably have caution pit stops here. I believe after this, they'll be able to make it on fuel. Here they come. There you go, drivers coming down pit road. There's Barney Ward. I can't stress how terrible Barney Ward's season has been. I'll tell you right now. If he hadn't had all the bad luck he would be having, he would probably have multiple wins and be a championship contender, but with all the bad luck he's had, he is he, he is uh like he is not nearly as high as he's as he should be. Who is going to be winning on the battle off of Pit Road? Uh Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson had a, is having a great stop and Richard Johnson wins the battle. Where's Robinson? And, and Tony Blazer beats Zachary Robinson off of Pit Road. I think Tony Blazer may have counteracted those championship implications because Tony Blazer has beaten Zachary Robinson off of pit road. And wait a minute. There you go. The car does have damage. There is damage on the five of Robinson. This is not looking good for the five team. Well, let's take a look at what happened. I am telling you right now, it's official. In my series, the number three is cursed. Barney Ward has had nothing go right all season. This, If it weren't for his good runs, he'd be mired way down points. I'll say the season has still been a disaster for Barney Ward. And he, and I think he may have broke down. Wait, no, no, Kyle Sosnowski, Kyle Sosnowski. There we go, he strikes again. Kyle Sosnowski strikes again. His recent an antics over in the M... Sosnowski's had a f some antics going in the MFNSRA lately. And now here he goes. He's turning cars again. He's he's gotten into he get he got into Barney Ward, turned him into Brandon Bain, who was second. So there you go. Kyle Sosnowski just wrecked second and third place. I think the officials are gonna want to talk with Kyle Sosnowski. He is the president of the INORL, but that doesn't mean he can go wrecking cars. Watch Barney Ward. Of course, uh, as usual, he gets the worst-case scenario, the WCS. He goes flipping over in the free, and someone's going to hit him here. Joshua Caloni hard in him, and there's the, 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 there's the contact that may have given Tony Blazer some... Has, may have given Tony Blazer some breathing room in the championship. There you can see right here, Bl Robinson clips Joshua Caloni. That's a glitch right there. And there's a little right front damage on the five. Well, we'll have to see how this turns out. Let's get back to the restart. Getting back to the green flag. Lap number 45 of 59. Drivers out of the race as a result of last incident are Bernie Ward, Joshua Caloni, Thomas McCook, and Ashton Brab. Some drivers like like Tyler Manson and Joseph Clark stayed out. So Tyler Manson is ranked as the leader. I don't really I think he should. They should have done that, but. Hey, they can try their own pit strategy. Oh, I, what, like, what am I do? As Sanford, he continues being an annoying lap car. He goes free wide with the leader, and that's going to be bad news for him. And Robinson is moving backwards. Meanwhile, Tony Blazer is moving up. Ro Although Richard Johnson is going to be taking the lead, Tony Blazer is going for second. And Johnson gets run up by the lap car. Zach Campbell. And Tony Blazer is going for the lead, but Aaron Williams, he's now looking. Robinson dropping back in the five. And Blazer is going to take the lead. And he's going to lead that lap. Five bonus points for Tony Blazer. Everything, everything seems to be falling apart for the other drivers' hopes of winning the championship because Barney Ward is gaining a lot of points. Just pulling away in the championship. He's just running away with, with the championship, but not the race. Aaron Williams just blew right by him. Aaron Williams 
has a lot of wins this season. He's also had some bad luck, but he started to counteract it. And if he if and if he does well enough, he could be a championship contender. Where's the where's the five? Robinson continues to drop. Rob Thomas has gone by him now. That damage has really affected the five. And he's also stuck behind Joseph Clark, who is on old tires, as someone just got spun. Tyler Manson, who's also on old tires, that l I told you that was a bad move. Although Manson's misfortune is usually just bad luck, this time it was kind of his, his own doing because he should have taken tires. There's now going to be 10 laps to go, though, for Aaron Williams. Where is Zachary Robinson? He's now getting back on that inside. Where is Rob Thomas? Rob Thomas is starting to make a move. Rob Thomas is moving up. If, if Tony Blazer starts moving back, there's a, and, and Thomas can keep up a good, strong pace, then maybe he could catch up. Rob Thomas trying everything. And Tony Blazer is moving back. We're going to get to the front, though. As Aaron Williams has pulled out to a, to a big lead, Kyle Sosnowski getting past the lap car. I'm, I bet officials are going to be wanting to talk of him, though. I, I have gotten word that Kyle Sosnowski has been called to the hauler for an interesting discussion. We'll have to see how that turns out. And Rob Thomas has overtaken Tony Blazer. Thomas giving it everything he's got to try and move move up in the championship. But where is Robinson? Robinson's starting to move up as well. Tony Blazer is under fire. If Nick Hames gets underneath the seven, Zachary Robinson could pass the seven as well. That would be amazing if Zachary Robinson gained points in a championship with that with that right front damage on his five. On his five car. But Robinson's going to get challenged by Ben Paul. But Deion Scott now goes underneath the seven. Rob Thomas moving up. Trying to gain a gap in points. Trying to get a gap. Aaron Williams, though, he's running away. Aaron Williams seems to not to no longer have any competition. as He now has five laps to go before he, he, go, he wins another race. Is Tracy Moore going to pass the 28 soon? What is his plans? Gattuso goes past Rob Thomas. And Zachary Robinson has passed Tony Blazer. With right for a damage, an awesome job by Zachary Robinson. Things are, getting, things are starting to heat up here. Seth Cole starting to move up, doing a great job in that underfunded car. And, and Rhett Yates, and Rhett Yates, we hadn't talked about much all day. He's, last week's winner has really come alive in the closing stages of this race. Up to sixth for Rhett Yates. Navarrete goes for third, trying to be the rookie of the year. Aaron Williams now pulled out to a two and a half second lead. There's the lap car of Eric Austin. Austin is slow. Two laps to go now for Aaron Williams. He goes by Eric Austin without any problems. Eric Austin there in the CRL modified. Eric Austin is very slow there. We're in the CRL modified. That's really all I can say to describe that car. And now off of turn number four, Aaron Williams takes the white flag. He's done a great job. Can Aaron Williams possibly be a championship contender if he keeps up the pace he's had all season if he can keep up the pace he's had in the late half of the season perhaps he could the var goes for second on second on Kyle Sosnowski in the final lap but at the final corner no one can challenge Aaron Williams Aaron Williams wins yet another race here at Rockingham a very exciting race here today Sosnowski holds on to second place, though. Austin Day. 
Uh, the margin of victory is three seconds. Second, third is Emilio Navarre. Fourth is Tracy Moore. Fifth is Rhett Yates. Sixth is Seth Cole. Seventh, Mason Wood. Eighth, Evan Gattuso. Ninth, Brandon Bain. Tenth is Forrester Kino. Rob Toss finished 11th. Zachary Robinson finished 14th. And Tony Blazer, where did he finish? All the way back in 20 in 22nd. So championship implications. Gonna have to see what happens in the points. That was that was a very good race here today at Rockingham. So without further ado, here comes here comes the results and standings. You've been watching a production of the INORL, Racing Uncontained. See you next time.